Another dangerous night. A nine year old boy hit by a car in D.C. is now on life support. Caden Green was involved in the crash on Friday. He was struck in front of a school on Wheeler Road in Southeast. Now, this comes as the city is trying to make roads safer, but is it enough? Fox 5's Lindsay Watts joins us now with more. Angie and Jim, earlier today, a new speed camera was installed in the area of that crash. Wheeler Road at Congress Street in Southeast. That's right by Kip DC. That's on Wheeler Road. And it's where that nine year old boy attends school. Police say nine year old Caden Green was leaving school early on Friday when he was hit by a car crossing the street. Police say he was not in a crosswalk. In that same vicinity just today, another person was hit by a car. It's an area community members have long complained about, according to ANC Commissioner Salim Adolfo. Put in a traffic safety uh, request uh, earlier this year. Uh, DDOT has done the investigation. They responded to implementing some elements of the road diet as we speak. They're going to decrease the number of lanes down Willow Road because we have two schools on this street and we have several schools in the area. And he says an additional speed camera will be going in there as well. On Friday, another nine-year-old boy was hit by a car leaving school, this time in Northeast. I spoke to Peter Jekin yesterday. He had to get 16 stitches in his face. This morning, Fox 5 was back out there where it happened on 21st and Gale Street Northeast, watching as drivers ran stop sign after stop sign and raced down that road. DDOT also had a crew in the neighborhood today looking at what kind of safety improvements can happen right away. As we know, D.C. has been trying for years to stop these kinds of crashes. The goal of the mayor's 2015 Vision Zero initiative was to bring traffic fatalities to zero by 2024. Instead, the numbers have been rising. We've seen more traffic deaths this year than any time in the last decade, 39 according to online records. Vision Zero is now facing a city audit. It's gotten much more dire in the last two years when you look at what the numbers have done, and not just in the district, but nationally. And so the, the plans that were put in place starting in 2015 going forward um, to take a look at what has actually happened in contrast with what the plans were, that's really the focus of our audit. And Auditor Kathy Patterson tells me that the final audit is, is expected to be done by the end of June. There could be some updates if auditors find anything that could be addressed immediately. Back to you.